He just wants to be a hero. All bold and brass and neck strong, his cape is on and the time is now. He's oiled up his muscles, all sweaty and salty, the tux has been dry cleaned. He just wants to be a hero, chest puffed out, saving babies from burning buildings and kittens from trees. He just wants to be a hero, soar off the skyscrapers and punch baddies in the face, ripping his top open, shouting, who wants some more? Then he does some parkour and punches another baddie in the face because they are bad, but he is a motherfucking hero. He just wants to be a hero, all shaken, not stirred. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's another fucking hero again. He just wants to be a hero, that's what he was made for. Built of play fighting and bullets and held in feelings. Told to man the fuck up, boy. Man the fuck up, man the fuck up, boy. In the schemes. Our kid just wants to be a hero like the ones in the movies. He just wants to protect his mum from the bad men. The bad men who took his bike away, his dad away, his pride away, his chances away. They took everything away from him. But he is determined to rise like a phoenix and prove that he does not belong in these ashes. So he smashes the wall with his fists and wishes he was miles away. So he takes a knife to school. It's in his bag or down his track. He's just like Grand Theft Auto, weapon of choice, knife, gun or bottle, weapon of choice. He chooses hero. Wants his life just to be like the game, driving cars and kicking hookers to the pavement. At least he can restart if he doesn't quite make it. In the classroom, he just wants to be a hero, but he feels like the walls are closing in, feeling ill, feeling queasy, wishes he found this more easy. The clock ticks are too loud and the words coming out his teacher's mouth are a different language, gobbledygook, asked a question and doesn't know where to look. But the playground, that can be his, cause the noise of head hitting curb sounds familiar, feels more like home cause his dad taught him that. And his dad learned from his dad and that's how they've always spoke through kicks and slaps and wraps round the head in the small towns. He just wants to be a hero, prove himself and go off to war, not like there's any other jobs, especially not ones where he belongs. He just wants to be a hero, go off and fight for the big boys in glass offices who wanted to be heroes themselves, but decided they were too precious, too pretty to get properly stuck in. So they sit at desks with swivel chairs, pressing buttons and taking calls, only hearing the sound of bombs through TV screens, but all the chatter of blood makes their dicks hard, and they gloat gleaming, all proud of themselves that they got to be heroes without getting their hands dirty. In the universities, he just wants to be a hero and for people to notice him because he's felt invisible ever since she's left. And he's scared he'll disappear altogether unless he's some sort of hero in the clubs. He just wants to be a hero, save the damsel in distress. She says she's fine, but her dress says otherwise. And he's not like the other guys, he's a hero. And heroes always get the girl, whether they like it or not. On the internet, he just wants to be a hero up late, unable to sleep, lit by screen screams of a woman being fucked too hard again. Just wants to feel something again. He's felt untouchable ever since his teacher came on to him. Eaten by shame, was it his fault that he gave the wrong impression? Has no one to confide in, his mates won't understand him. He feels like his insides are rotting. He just wants to be a hero, fuck's sake, let him be a hero in the cities. He just wants to be a hero, he's boozing in the living room, he's bevying at the park. It feels like slashing other people's faces is the only way to make your mark and there's these silences sometimes in between the slagging and the punching and the threats and the jokes silences that should be filled with questions like how you doing no really are you all right don't worry man i feel the same but instead the silences are haunted by ghosts undermining our heroes are para second guessing everything he just wants to be a hero, gulping back the bed, swallowing all the things he wished he'd said. Take the blues, refuse the tears, the lump in the throat. Our heroes are fierce. Our heroes are finding out that they don't fly when they jump off buildings. But they do it anyway. Suicide is the biggest killer of our heroes today.
We don't need any more heroes. The rich heroes are protected and the poor, if they're not in the graves, they're in the prisons. All our heroes are struggling, thinking that there is something wrong with them. There must be a way to let them know that we will listen. They put these prisons in the most beautiful spots, out of sight. They punctuate the rolling hills like reminders that not everyone has access to the sky. A train goes past and a little boy points out the window at the grey brick and barbed wire and says, what's that, mummy? And she says, that's where all the heroes live.